Hi guys, Ranjit here and I'm with my BMW. Got the silicon servicing done. So let's do the US user review of the same uh, today. Guys, Vivek is here and he's going to interview me to the Ulta review. Instead of me asking questions, he's going to ask. Okay, so let's do this different. It will be an interesting one. Okay, let's see. What will happen? So Ranjit, tell me something about this vehicle. How old is it? What model? Uh, this is the 330i uh, M Sport petrol. It comes in two variants, diesel and petrol. This is the petrol variant. And uh, the petrol one actually interestingly produces more power than the diesel in this one. Uh, uh, yes, this is the M Sport, right? This is the M Sport. Uh -huh. And even the regular petrol, this is 258 bhp and 400 newton meters of torque. This if you know other German cars in this class, 2 liter are about 189 to 190 bhp. The significantly powerful. Uh, so this I purchased in December, so it's completed two years now. Mm -hmm. So this is technically known as G20. Okay, G20 uh, model. Uh, so people who are technical, they uh, say BMW G20. And this is the latest one as of now in three series. Yes, I, I don't think there is a new one coming. Uh, no, it'll there was a 340i that was launched recently. Uh, 345i is even more powerful than this one. But Correct. I don't see, I'll tell you the flaws. It's no point buying that. I'll tell you the flaws because even with this one, uh, uh, the ground clearance is even lower on the 340. Okay, even lower than this. I know you crib about the ground clearance on this one, and we went on a I'm long drive. <laughs> uh, I, I recollect all all the flaws in this one. Only thing is, see, I don't know. I don't like this stupid grill. Why is it so big and so much chrome? Rest, I'm okay with the car, but this grill, I don't. Know. Some, uh, I, I don't know, but it's I like uh, uh, the design. Chrome. And I like actually, the kidney bean. Uh, this is functional uh, actually. This opens when the car heats up. So automatically it opens up so pulls, uh, to cool it. Now tell me about uh, some something about the suspension, the ground clearance. How, how do you feel about it? Okay. First let's talk about the ground clearance. So that's an issue with most of these sports cars. These are, this is a sedan. Okay. Uh, generally SUVs, that's why people prefer ground clearance. This I believe uh, BMW does not say in the manual also. I think so this is 150. Really? Uh, this is 150 and this is much better than uh, if you recall I had the Honda Civic. That yes. Honda Civic used to touch everywhere. This does not touch everywhere. But we have some very huge humps. Okay. There you have to go <laughs> really slowly. And, and, and one thing I notice is that when I drive with my wife, it's not an issue. But when it's fully loaded, five people with luggage, like we went to a trip. There you have to be a little bit careful with this one. We'll come back to the luggage. Huh? I, I have a big, biggest grunch on this car on okay. the luggage. Huh? We will discuss that okay. in, a, in a moment. Um, suspension you were talking Tell about. me about the suspension. Suspension is actually good, but slightly on the firmer side. And this is one thing that people should understand. This is sort of a sports car. Okay, so the suspension is slightly on the firmer side to give you the feel of the road. So if you want that plushest ride or whatever, go with the Benz C Class. That has more uh, better suspension. But advantage of this one is on the twisties and high speed, the confidence that this car gives you. No, uh, what do you say, shake or anything. Guys, I can vouch for the uh, the suspensions here. But I, mean, I, I know what a also, what right? a fast car can do with the stiff suspensions, and it 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 is wonderful to drive a car with. A fast car with stiff yeah. suspension. So, uh, this is for the highways and this is for speed. for speed. Yeah. So, so this is very good. So you will notice that slightly firmness. You will be like, okay, uh, such an expensive car. Why is it having that? For example, I would say to give an example, uh, we also have the Honda City in our family. The Honda City suspension is softer than more plush than this one. <laughs> that answers the question, I guess. Don't don't talk about. Uh, uh, any other German car, huh? we know how much uh, of a trouble we have with the other German car that we have, the SUV. Ranjit, let's have a look at your engine. Okay, yeah. Here it is. There is no foam padding over here, but the engine is so good that we don't see uh, hear any noise. So this is a 2 litre. Uh, uh, this is actually a turbo. Okay, the, you have a turbo with this one. That's why it's able to produce that 255 bhp of uh, power. So this is a 2 litre one. The M340i uh, is having actually a 3 litre engine. But the power of this Vivek, you also know, you have driven it. I think so for Indian uh, conditions, the power is more, way more than enough and you'll get a lot of ticketing fines. <laughs> Just mm -hmm. like. A engine is fantastic. We are inside the car now and uh, Ranjit, can you tell me more about uh, the in interiors of the car okay uh, see it comes in two variants as i've told you this is the m sport one uh, this has all the bells and whistles uh, supposed to be the top end one we'll come to the bells and whistles okay so see basic difference is see you have a digital dash over here i'm not a big fan of this because see 
the rev meter is on the opposite direction this and you cannot actually change this to a lot of yes you can change a little bit of here but like in audi and mercedes you can uh, change this uh, to a lot this is just static so i feel that's a missed opportunity on this one again we have this one also slightly bigger m sport the regular one slightly smaller i would say uh, this also has those hand gestures for example right <laughs> there it is like it gets confused i use it at times but it's okay so this one had only apple car play now okay the last servicing they updated now android auto is also supported on this one i know how much you suffered with only apple car yeah i had to carry an iphone because of that right <laughs> and it did not work out and still i'm absolutely I'm right okay, yeah yeah that is always an issue uh, sometimes it works most times it works but maps okay after uh, on the highway after about 90 80 knows sometimes it disconnects so again you have to reconnect it apart from that not an issue it has built in bmw maps also so if it's not connected uh, the good thing is that if you use the bmw maps it will come here also here as you can see over here mm -hmm. it does but if you just use uh, android auto or, or anything the map thing is only over here okay i have to test with the android auto because i didn't get my android phone just yesterday uh, got the servicing done and they updated uh, it to android auto so they didn't charge luckily i thought they'll charge a bomb even for that okay regarding the interiors uh, uh, mostly if you look at this portion this is almost the same in almost all the bmws okay little bit of changes over here but this layout as you can see the steering also is mostly the same in all the five and your little bit of change is there what i like again uh, vivek uh, is this see these are known as physical buttons so you can easily use it even when you are driving i like it so much so easy to use you can use the voice for example he is teasing me huh? my car has uh, <laughs> the sensor the sensor buttons uh, for example 2 years ago if you recall vivek uh, many of the cars actually had that voice recognition system okay uh, this one also has that i barely use it but you can say hey bmw hey bmw set temperature to 21 no problem i set the temperature in the driver's area on 21 degrees celsius so it set the temperature of this area to 21 so it knows the command was from me not from you if you would have said it would have set the temperature to your side for that so this has actually three uh, zone climate control uh, for example if i recall uh, the c class when i was looking at it had only uh, two zone type uh, climate control so yes you have this feature I don't use it a lot. For example, uh, I just use it for some things that are difficult to uh, access when using uh, this. Uh, for example, let me take a turn from here. Okay, let's go there. And for example, there are some features like uh, you can go uh, switch on sport displays to see what is happening. So it's a little bit cumbersome when you're driving. So you can use this command. Hey BMW. Hey BMW. show sports display sport displays as you can Please see continue using manual control as you can see like this it can uh, do all this stuff so yes there are things that it is useful but i hardly use it uh, to be frank yes it's a feature novelty feature nice to have but not i would say you will forget about it after some time tell me in your car do you have anti collision uh, Oh my god. Okay, this is in the cons. Uh almost all BMW this uh, G20 series at the front uh, there was actually a radar thing, okay? So automatically emergency braking it uh, used to do. But the genius is in BMW India. The specific versions that are sold in India, it does not have that. Uh there is while we are just reversing and stuff, we have all the sensors. Okay? So there if you are just backing up uh, or something there if you switch it on by default it is switched off okay uh, so if you switch it off it won't let you bang uh, at the back and i found it actually useful when i was new to this car so yes it's there but that radar thing is disabled it's not there at all and tell me how much did you when you compare it with the international model how much did you pay for this disability <laughs> this in india as usual i think so this is uh, the most expensive if you calculate it so we are paying the most and we are getting the least features i would say Uh, I purchased it was fifty eight lakhs or something. I I I don't recall the exact price now, but I think so. Right now, with all the uh, taxes, insurance, uh, it will be about sixty two, sixty three lakhs or something. So you are paying through your nose, but many of the safety features are disabled. So I don't like that. 
that's a very good observation ranjit i don't know see uh, uh, this argument when i had with someone i won't name him he said that uh, you have that collision uh, whatever in india it will not work what about mahindra with the xuv 700 and others okay that they are doing is automobile uh, autonomous driving also they are enabling it if those cars can do it why not this one this has a silly feature of auto parking if i just leave it here uh, it will automatically park it will do the steering everything like that so all those things are there that functionality is also there but some of the safety stuff they have removed it so i don't i don't get it man i don't get it that is unfortunate but nobody complains man they just want the badge mercedes badge bmw badge and they are ready to pay that's why they are able to do it right don't you don't you think silly man Ah, braking is really good on this car. Very good brakes, man. So it gives you that confidence. So that way, in terms of the performance of the car, ah, uh, that way I don't have any problems with this. This is a fun to drive car. Very fun to drive car. Uh, I would say. And in corners, as you can see, I took a sharp corner. You, you, you are like there. Okay. So that way, it is nice. The dynamics and everything. But again, here, ah, uh, one problem that I have, and people will say I'm super nitpicky. Uh, if you notice this uh, 3 series the current one that is known as G20 now the width of the car and the length of the car has increased considerably okay uh, and i find that a little bit irritating because the 3 series used to be the most nimble and the fun car and because of the size increase of the width now it doesn't feel that compact nature of that car it feels slightly bigger in fact the size of this car is equal to the series 5 uh, from a couple of generations old it's that big yes i understand they launched the limo versions uh, limo is even uh, longer but i'm talking about this is their pure 330i the drivers enthusiast car but now with every generation slowly slowly they are increasing the size the width and everything now this has become the width has become a little bit bigger so i remember this is in 2010 I drove my friend's three series. Okay, uh, the power steering also was very hard. But man, the size of the car and the compactness was so good. It felt different. Here, the pickup, everything is there. But the width of the car, it feels like a bigger uh, driving car. If I would have wanted a bigger driving car, I would go directly have gone for the series five, not this one. So this is something I don't know what is happening. But you do feel this is a longer car than longer you wanted. Longer in the width is also bigger. So you in traffic, it feels like a bigger car, not that small nimbleness that uh, we used to associate with the good old uh, 3 series. I hate BMW for this. This is almost a 60 lakh car, Vivek, and uh, what we have is the higher end variant, right? Correct. This does not have true keyless entry. Even a 10 lakh car will have it. When I ask them why. So, oh, so you want that feature? We have it on the five series. It's so ridiculous because the five series also the petrol one has the same engine. So to differentiate some of these everyday stuff that you use, they have disabled it. It's so ridiculous, and you have this feature in the international variants. So I'm pissed off with BMW India. This is called literally chindi harkate mas, but. Simple thing like keyless entry, man. Even a ten lakh car in India will have that feature. And when this is the higher end variant, I could have understand if it was the lower end variant. Okay, you have disabled that feature. But here, even on this one, it's not there. They call it comfort access or whatever something. They have very fancy words for everything, as usual. <laughs> oh, imagine the. I'll show you the mileage. What is the mileage you are expecting of this car? You'll be surprised with the mileage that I get. I'll show you real stat figure. I I know the mileage, but I will guess as a lo, uh, no uh, man. Okay, the layman. The car and all this. Um, thing. I would say it will not give you. Uh, it will give you in single digits. It will not cross ten. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll just. Park What What's your feedback? See that is also again uh, something I was mentally very very like before buying the car uh, uh, because I had a Varna prior to this one and the Varna with my good driving uh, I don't know with most of the cars I get really good mileage I don't know why but I get really good mileage Varna was giving me nine okay eight point eight to nine uh, was the average that it used to give me so I thought this one with the power that it has Varna was one twenty bhp if I recall one twenty one or something. This is two fifty five, four hundred nineteen meters now. Where where? So I thought if I even get seven mentally, that is the figure that I had in my mind. Okay, but.
but i am surprised and i'll show you uh, actual figures uh, it good thing with bmw is it logs in all the history it, in fact it has a internal hard drive where it stores a lot of junk okay so uh, let me actually if we can park somewhere because i have to park the car don't speed here there are cameras cameras are everywhere no there, there are speed cams here okay <laughs> so i'll just park but it over yes here. guys this car has fantastic mileage and ranjit can show you the figures i am getting good mileage i don't know he's mileage. getting good mileage I'll and we mileage. did a long drive on this one we went to pune mahabaleshwar okay um, my okay. car was giving a lot less <laughs> being a smaller capacity vehicle okay um, and you. his car gave a lot more mileage than mine let's go to car let's go to Okay, let's go to vehicle uh, driving information. Okay, as if you can see, if we go to journey data, uh, this is X works. Uh, that means uh, from the time I had actually purchased this, uh, here it shows. This is the mileage for the eight thousand ninety seven kilometers, and let's see this ten point seven. And this is with harsh driving, everything total till date. If I drive sedately, I'm getting eleven point two. That's correct. And when we did the long drive, I remember you told for me. For example, today start of journey. This might not be good because ah nine point six because we kept the AC on for ten fifteen minutes. We were talking so nine point. So gives me about eleven in real life here. I I was not expecting this. Eleven is in the city. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I know when we went for the long drive, you got more than fourteen. Yeah. Ah, it was thirteen point something. I very good. Yeah, something. And and that was fantastic for yeah. a long drive. Yeah. So mileage is. Ah, uh, one one area I'm pleasantly surprised is the mileage that I'm getting. So that is something uh, that I have. I'm little bit. Uh, I am also baffled. Uh, why am I getting? How am I getting? I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, guys, I also have a German car, and uh, the German car are known for their engines. Huh. Um, the bells and whistles they cut down a lot, um, but the engine always is fantastic. Yeah. This is for the en enthusiasts. obviously this is for the answer. see okay i'll answer this question i'll get a little bit of hate uh, between uh, what do you say mercedes or a bmw okay uh, this is i'm talking about the what do you say 3 series or let's say c class we have in uh, the benz Correct. in the same range yes. so if you are undecided between these two cars okay this is a very simple thing you should do if you are a uh, if you drive your car uh, yourself most of the time okay and you like that driving enthusiasm you have then go for the bmw but if you are kind of a person who sits at the back most of the time and the driver drives most of the time go for the benz simple as that you know me uh, vivek i have a driver but most of the time you have seen that i myself drive it so that was the reason between this one and the uh, benz benz i drove it also the c class I had test driven it. In fact, I uh, test driven uh, uh, quite a few cars before owning on this one. And the driving dynamics of this one, man, it's it's just next level, next level step up, I would say. So decide based on that. If you are a driver, you drive yourself, go for this one. If you like that chauffeur driven stuff, uh, go for the Benz Simple as that. That's correct. And and uh, before buying this car, Ranjit, I know you and me yeah. went for test drive of Mercedes. Yeah. We yeah. went for this one. um together and um, the most impressive you were with the bmw yeah that it, you just drive for half a kilometer you feel that power uh, that turbo is there okay and the turbo is always there on tap it's not like you have to like really like uh, wait for the turbo to and i'm and in, in fact initially when i got this car i'm right right now driving in comfort i had to drive it in the eco pro because in the eco pro the engine power comes down because in the normal it was like i was just like <laughs> going like crazy now i've got used to it uh, so the power on the tap is there instant power you want you want to overtake fun you are gone it's that power as i've told you uh, like uh, vivek even uh, most of the what do you say 2 liter engine in the germans uh, uh, benz and all this you know 190 bhp this is 258 bhp man Power so figures super, don't lie. Super, super. 400 injured. newton meter of torque. 400 newton meters of torque. The torque is also very high. So, it's just a gem of an engine. Ranji, tell me what what is this buzz about? Ah, uh, look at here. It's sensing that there are too many things very near to this car. Okay, in traffic, it will keep buzzing you like this crazy. As you can see, it has all the sensors. So, see, this bike fellow is too near me. That's why it's buzzing. So, it's that. So the sensor is there. You can disable it if you want, but I keep it on because of the safety thing. So that is there. So it keeps beeping.
That's correct. And there is one more feature we would love to talk about. I it. love this feature. I think so every car should have this. As you can see, we are at red stop. We are in gear only. Okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, my brake, uh, my uh, leg is not on the brake. It stopped. Now, if I just press the accelerator, it will automatically release the brake, and I can go. And whenever I'm like stop go traffic, I can press the brake and leave it. That's it, that's a wonderful there. feature and and you don't have to do anything. Just the moment you press the accelerator, it automatically disable the brakes and you do your job. So I'm so used to this feature that way in bumper to bumper traffic, it is so easy to drive this one. Um, I love to have that feature on my car, yeah, uh, but I um, really um, this feature is fantastic. Oh, um, and it works car. very well. Yeah. No issues like you no know, glitches or something like that. Another thing that I like is regarding the entertainment center. If you look at here, you have you can. This is a touch screen, so you can do everything with the touch screen. But if you are like me, I don't want to see the screen here and get distracted. I can just use this and do everything with this. So I love this. So you have all the physical buttons here, and after sometimes it becomes muscle memory. You don't have to even look; you can operate it. So I like it that still we have this feature of this car. That's correct. And every car that has a yeah, dial is days, so lovely. Everything is becoming a total touch. Man, the new Audi. After seeing that everything was touch, I just gave up. I didn't even go for test ride. One thing you might still notice right now we are at seventy. There is a little bit of tar noise that is coming inside. and uh, i think so that is because uh, bmw is using run flat tires so even let's say you get a puncture or anything you can drive with this tires for 80 kilometers it's a safety feature but because of that there is a little bit of tire noise that comes uh, when you don't have any stereo or something so i would say like yes it's a hit or miss safety wise i'm happy but uh, this is a very good feature i feel this makes you feel um, very connected to the road oh. I like the tire noise that comes. You like it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Initially, I was a little bit irritated when I got the car, but now I've got used to it. It's because of the run flat tires. In fact, the run flat tires are more expensive than the regular cutest tires that we get. So when the, I have to replace the tires, the tires will be expensive on this one. Um, of course, um, it comes with heavy maintenance. Tell me, how much did you pay for first service, and now how much did you pay? See, I have in the. I took uh, the, all the general cars. You have to take a AMC. Okay, if you don't take a AMC, they'll cut your head. <laughs> so I opted for four years of AMC. So four years of service, and four and uh, I think so. This vehicle came with two years of warranty, so two years extra. So four plus four. So in this, all the up to four servicing and up to forty thousand kilometers is included. So technically, I already paid uh, for servicing, but in the first service. They added this, that rubbish, and made a bill of eighteen thousand to me, and I was very annoyed with them. Okay, and remember, I have eighteen thousand rupees even after taking annual maintenance. Ah, uh, AMC, I paid one point six lakhs. Okay, in advance. So oh, that's was, like forty thousand plus eighteen thousand you paid for the ha, first service. Ha, so I was very annoyed. Uh, so that's why I, that's why I waited for the second service to make this video. But luckily now in the second service, I don't know what happened. The soul of BMW India has changed, or what? I don't know. I just got a bill of three thousand rupees. Okay, seriously, three thousand rupees, and out of that also eighteen hundred rupees. They told some wiring, something they suspected something, and because of that uh, they charged. They charged by number of hours or whatever. So that took a little bit time, eighteen hundred. Otherwise, I would have got a bill of twelve hundred rupees, and out of that also three uh, hundred rupees was uh, what do you say? Uh, the my remote's battery got uh, discharged. It was creating a problem. So second service, I'm okay. They didn't charge uh, a little bit, but first service, I don't know why. So. Just be careful about uh, even if you have taken AMC, just don't agree to. They'll say we'll do this, we'll do that. Or you'll say yes, yes, yes. They'll all charge for those things. <laughs> Anjit, tell me something about the gearing dynamics. How the gear is mated with the engine? That's very critical on a very expensive car. Oh my God, man! I think so. This is the best. This is ZF8. Okay, you can Google about the ZF8. F8 transmission and it's a gem of a transmission man you just this gearing is so intuitive you don't even realize it whenever you want that pick up it down shifts and everything it's always in the precise gear in fact tell me you have uh, paddle, paddle shifters right? i have paddle shifters but trust me till date i never had to use the paddle shifters the gearing default gearing is so good and this is in comfort this is in comfort, comfort. you it's have a sports mode sport and you should mode. drive this car in sport mode i, I have I, driven it if i drive it's it so here, lovely again i'll get fines <laughs> <laughs> 
but the gearing the gear oh the gear box man uh, this is actually a torque converter not a dct mind you this is a torque uh, converter this is a torque converter and uh, the zfx but that ranjit the is talking about is so good a is is one Gym. level above the torque converter huh? it's it's Gym. i think a pa- patented uh, thing from bmw no no no, no. 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 Pa- i've seen in some other cars also high end cars oh okay the transmission but um, yes yeah, certainly um, it's it, it is a torque converter but, but the next level of torque converter but you won't believe if, uh, after driving if you say it's a torque converter it's so it's a gem of i've driven so many automatics you know that okay correct this is a gem of a tra- what do you say automatic transmission always in the correct gear and there is no lack of power or anything like that you i haven't used the what is your paddle shift i didn't need to use it <laughs> that's correct and and probably because we live most of the uh, time in in the city we don't need the paddle shifters no even uh, we went that highway now so it's there i uh, hear that problem with this one is see we can't i can't push the car we are driving car to bumper traffic hardly i'm the turbo is also not, not getting involved on this car we're just driving regularly like this maybe that's why i get good mileage i'm driving like this <laughs> <laughs> you might ask why did i go for this car Okay, it was a like wish. Okay, I want to have one German car from a long time, so I took it. So, but now after driving this, I would say I'll be very blunt about this. I mean, some people will hate me about this. Uh, it's very difficult to have this as your only car. Okay, you need to have one more car that you can take everywhere, and that's my Tiago. Okay, in some broken roads or something where I do not dare to take this car. Simple as that. So that's why if you uh, look at my Tiago, it's equally driven. Okay, this must I must be taking once a week out, and that gets driven like nearby m- more. So that's a practical thing. This is mostly like a second car. So guys, that was my end uh, user experience of owning this uh, BMW for the last two years. Uh, I hope you like this video. I uh, did a little bit different, and I want to thank uh, Vivek for taking out his time. Tried it a little bit different. I hope you like it. And I know uh, some of you uh, might have more questions about this uh, specific car. If you have any specific questions about this car, I can do uh, actually a Q and A session. So if you have any specific questions about this car, if you're planning to buy this or whatever. and you have some questions post those questions in the comment section below and uh, if i get some decent amount of questions uh, i can post a actual uh, q and a uh, regarding the same uh, so again post them in the comment section below and guys this is my new channel if you are not subscribed to this youtube channel hit that subscribe button anyways guys take care catch you later bye bye